Welcome to school time. We're going to sing a song for you. Listen for the special lyrics. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands, he's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands, he's got the mamas and the papas. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the scones and the badgers. In his hands, he's got the scones and the badgers. In his hands, he's got the scones and the badgers. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mallards and the brewers. In his hands, he's got the mallards and the brewers. In his hands, he's got the mallards and the brewers. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got Deerfield and Cambridge. In his hands, he's got Deerfield and Cambridge. In his hands, he's got Deerfield and Cambridge. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the robins and the turtles. In his hands, he's got the robins and the turtles. In his hands, he's got the robins and the turtles. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. All right. We have a story called Little Mole Fine Coat. We have permission through Beaming Books and Spark House Publisher to read this story. Little Mole was sad. He lay in his burrow deep underground and he put his head in his paws. Little Mole, whatever is wrong? asked Mom. Oh, I just don't know, Mama, sniffed Little Mole, but I don't feel good inside. I am sad. Maybe you feel this way sometimes too right now. What you need is hope, Mama said. Hope? What's hope? Where do I find it? Little Mole asked. Come with me, Mama said as she took hold of Little Mole's paw. Sometimes hope is hiding in the darkness. Sometimes it's hard to see, but it's always there. You just have to find it. Where do you suppose they're going to be going? Hmm, I wonder what hope looks like. Mama led her son gently out of the dark burrow up toward the light. But on the way out of the tunnel, Mama stopped. Do you see this bulb? Can you see the bulb up here? There it is, I'm gonna buy the door. Little mole, she asked. Mama pointed to a bulb squashed in the dark earth. It was brown, wrinkled, and lifeless. It's dead, Mama, said Little Mole. No, my dear, Mama whispered softly. This bulb is not dead. 
Sometime soon it will feel the warmth of the sun. It will begin to grow and push its way out of the deep, cold earth. One day this bulb will become a beautiful yellow daffodil. Do you guys have daffodils at all outside of your we house at all? Yeah, right outside. Close your eyes, little mole. Can you see it dancing in the wind? Oh, yes, mama, cried little mole. I see it, I see it. That is hope, said mama. You ever think in your imagination? Think about the things that you might see dancing and life coming. The little mole and mama reached the top of the burrow where the sun was shining. Look up, little mole, mama said. What do you see? Little mole looked up. He saw woodpeckers sitting in the trees. The woodpecker, it's kind of hard to see there. There's another bird right there. Little mole, oh, sitting in the trees, but the branches were bare. They stretched out like skeleton bones, silhouetted against the sky. They're dead, Mama, said Little Mole. Oh, no, my dear, Mama whispered softly. The trees are not dead. One day soon, buds will appear and these branches will be covered in bright green leaves. Close your eyes, Little Mole. Can you see them dancing in the wind? Oh, yes, Mama, cried Little Mole. Yes, I can. I see them. I see them. That is hope, said Mama. See what the mole sees in his mind? He sees pretty branches covered in leaves. Little Mole and his Mama scurried along the edge of the woods until they came to Mr. Rabbit's garden. An old brown flower pot was lying on the side in the soil. Under the rim, something small and shriveled was hanging. It's dead, Mama, said Little Mole. Neither. What do you suppose that is? Mm. No, my dear, said Mama. She whispered softly, the chrysalis is not dead. One day soon, uh, the butterfly growing inside will burst out of her shell. She will spread her wings and fly free among the flowers. Close your eyes, little mole. Can you see her dancing in the wind? Oh, yes, mama, cried little mole. I see her, I see her. That is hope, mama said. I haven't seen any butterflies yet, but I've started to see some bugs. I don't know about you. Little Mole and his mama went home. I had a wonderful day today, mama. Little Mole said happily, now I know that there's always hope, even in the darkest places. Mama smiled as she tucked Little Mole into bed, pulling his quilt up under his chin and kissing him. Good night. And as Little Mole closed his eyes and fell fast asleep, he dreamt of yellow daffodils, green trees, and beautiful butterflies dancing together in the wind. So some questions to follow up with. Why do you think Little Mole might have been sad? And when have you felt sad? And what three things did Little Mole see when he closed his eyes and he used his imagination? Close your eyes. Think about something that makes you really happy. See the pictures in your mind. Tell someone about it. So think about that. God's got the whole world in his hands, dead and alive and making things come to life out of death. Thanks for being with us during Sunday school today. Have a good day, friends.